할렐루야. 아, oh, God is a miracle working God. Thank you, Lord. Pray the Lord. Amen. The starting point of Christianity is the cross. Jesus Christ. When we believe in Jesus Christ, who atoned for our sin by being crucifixed, being crucified, yes. Bearing and resurrected from the tomb. We are saved through the, our face. In Him. A, our Christian life, nothing is more important than our faith in the Lord. We and uh, in our face is the channel of the blessing of God. Channel of the blessing of God. Hallelujah. I want you to hold the face that comes in through this channel, the blessing of God, hallelujah, will go to heaven by keeping in this face you have to the end. Keeping in this end. Therefore, we should be person of faith throughout the, our lifetime. There is a, all right, there is a story that I'm going to tell you. In Second King chapter 7, The Israelites invaded by the Arameus were in despair, unable to find hope anywhere, not anywhere, everywhere. There was no hope to live, to survive at that situation. In their time of hopelessness, Elijah, prophet, proclaimed Word of God to them, people of Israel, who were in no hope. Just they were waiting to die. But the Israelites, the experienced marvelous miracle of God 
by using their face in the Lord. Oh, oh I love this story to tell you now. Ben Hadad, who king of Aram, mobilized his army, marched up and invaded Israel. They surrounded Samaria, <coughs> the capital city of of Israel. No one could come in and get out in the city. As the time passed, they, you know, the, they began to run out of food and everything they had. Uh, in the city, soon there was a great famine in the city. Food was so scarce that People came to a point to eat things like a donkey head, which is considered, you know, an unclean animal according to the law. They shouldn't eat such a like animal. Even a donkey's head sold for 80 shekels of the silver. One silver was uh, you know, about four days wage a man, 80 shekel of silver amounted to man's wage about 320 days. It's not finished. They were so hungry. That they even listen. Ah, uh, I can't believe that. They even killed, killed at, and ate their children. Mm -hmm. Oh my, I, 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 can, I can't believe that. They ate their own children. It was a really, really dreadful and a tragic situation they had been faced in the city. The king of the Israel right told down in his lobe, he would say close. Oh, oh I, I can't imagine. They ate their children. Whenever I read this, the story, Oh my, 
my my heart is is is, is so so dreadful and devastated the hurt in my heart all right I want to tell you sometime indescribable problem and uh, hardship surround us in time of despair. We may look around somewhere, but we couldn't get any help from the everywhere. It's like uh, those people of Israel who had faced a miserable situation in the city. But we have to look up to our God, ask, cry out, help. Even though our situation is miserable, God, God is listening. The voice of their children, his children, and God. Going to reach out his hand, touch, and open the flood gate of the heaven and take out the from that situation. All right, here is the miracle. God had performed for people of Israel and delivered that crisis they had faced. There were four, four men with leprosy at the entrance of the city gate. As you well know, the lepers had to be separated from other people, living outside the camp. <clears throat> the four men with leprosy were starving too. With the same people who stay in the city. They had uh, nothing to eat. They were in despair, no hope. Because uh, they had no choice but wait to die. They had only the way. Wait to die to hunger, starvation. They should be died. They thought that it did not make any difference whether they starve to death by staying there or to go over to the camp of the enemies. 
preparing to death. So they decide to go to the camp of the Arameans. At dusk, they got up. They got up and went to the camp of the Arameans. Oh, they were lepers. Hmm? When they went over to the camp of the Arameans, they, they couldn't anyone there. The reason is that God let the Arameans, enemy of Israel, which had surrounded and seized all the city. Listen, it is very interesting and amazing story. I love to tell you. I like this story of this beautiful Godhead for people of Israel. That miracle is about to happen to you if you believe. All right, let me tell you. And let me finish up this story. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. The Aramis here. The sound of chariot and learning horses and the great army parade. They had heard. God made. Oh. They were so terrified that they left, fled all. The camp, as it was, and ran for their lives, leaving all their belongings behind the left. Of course, the food they used to eat. <laughs> all the four men with the leprosy were walking, they were just walking, toward the Aramean camp. They were getting approach to the camp. I said, four men. God caused the Arameans to hear, to hear. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Miracle had happened. That is a real miracle by God. Then nobody, no other God can make like that, I believe. God called the Arameans to hear the sound of a great army. They were so terrified at the sound that they ran for their lives. If God is with us, such a marvelous miracle can happen even today. Even today, hallelujah, amen. Uh, people may say to us, it is impossible. You are in huge problem. You are finished. 
No. No, no, no. Y God is with us. No one can against us. Bible said, who can be against us? If God with us. That is your God. Who is about make beat up you never expect. The four men with the lepros reached the edge of the camp and entered one of the tents. It's, it's going to be held a party. <laughs> Beautiful party got prepared for four lepros. <laughs> The four lepros put on the new clothes and ate enough and drank what, whatever they want in the enemy's camp, which enemy fled before they came here. God made it. The miracle. Oh, hurry. Then it. Uh, listen, my friend. This, there is a it's good story. I love to tell you. The climax of, of this story that we love. Then it crossed their minds. They thought lepers had thought in their minds that people who stay in the city, they fellow citizen was starving inside the city. Oh. Confession. Grace of God. Come and remind the four lepros. So they went and called out to the city and the gatekeeper and told them astonishing news. Good news. <laughs> That's good news. Huh? Okay, Bible say second king Chapter 7, verse 9. Just listen. I want you to read this part. Nine verses. Then they say to each other, <clears throat> We are not doing right. This is a day of good news. And we are keeping it to ourselves. If we wait until daylight, until daylight, I, I think dawn time, punish, punishment will overtake us. Let's go at once. Ah, I sound is so good. 
Let's go right now. Tell our citizen people who are starving now to die. We have to go. They give this good news. What we had seen just before. Hallelujah. Oh, that's so good. Huh? We have to report to the king this good news. Report this cardboard and the, the deserted camp and recognize that their lives had been spared at the first the gun use to themselves, their fellow citizens, they started sinking. Their fellow citizens who were starving in the city. The good news about Jesus Christ must be shielded for no Jews is more important than the gospel. We must not forget to those who are dying without hearing Gospel. We must not become so preoccupied with our own face that we direct share, sharing with Gospel. Those Those around us, your neighbor, our good news, like that of the lepers, we not until we not wait until daylight. We have to preach this good news. To the other people. Halle oh. oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Pray the Lord. Oh. When. All right, I got to hurry up. We should not speak negatively with unbelief, complain, or grumble like uh, the the officer who leaned to the king and he said uh, he said uh, uh, how can happen how how can God is about Miracle. Even God opened the flood gate in the heaven, it could not be happened. What happened? What happened? This negative person, office of the king, is dead. He was trampled by the people at the gate of city. Oh, the people trampled him in the gateway. He died, just as the 
man of God had foretold. When the king came down to his house, the officer saw this officer spoke negative word. Officer saw it with his own eyes, but was but he could not eat a week. The fate of a negative post is a miserable. It's like that. No matter what kind of a problem may surround us, we should not be disguised or fall into the despair as non-believers do. Do not complain or be frustrated. Let's fix our God, our eyes, on Jesus Christ, who is also and the perfect of our faith. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. When our resources are low and our doubts are the strongest, remember, my fr friend, God can open the flood gate of the heaven that pour out the blessing to you because you believed the Lord you love. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, uh, did you receive this message? Thank you, Lord. Oh, we Got the victory. Thank you, Lord. Every day. Bye-bye. See you later.